Oh, that's spicy. Holy that is spicy. Let me see if I can get you guys to stand up here. Look at that. I did it. Good morning. I have, like, I got stuck in LA. How is everybody doing? That was disgusting. That was disgusting. That just squirted all over me. That was disgusting. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Coffee Talk. Um, now I smell like jalapenos and eggs. Um, I got stuck in LA last night, so those of you who pay attention or watch every day know that I was supposed to leave yesterday. Well, the weather in Atlanta was so bad, they delayed my flight like two and a half hours. And then I would miss my connection from Atlanta to Birmingham. So I stayed in LA one more night. And now I'm flying home and I can't wait to get home. Um, and I am tired. I, I really am. I am exhausted. I'm not going to lie. Um, and I am just ready to go home in my bed. Shout out to everybody who heard the word squirt. Um, Y'all are some freaky, freaky snitches, and I like it. Um, I'm so upset that I'm missing my radio show this morning. It was supposed to be me and Ludacris. Such a bummer. So we'll do it next week. Um... Listen, if y'all want to talk about squirting, we could do a pillow talk. But we can't talk about squirting on coffee talk. Y'all about to give some of these old ladies a heart attack. Okay. Oh, yeah, look, everybody's saying squirt now. I love it. Squirt, 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 squirt. Okay. I need to tell y'all something before I have to board my flight. Okay. This is really important. Yesterday I was talking to my girlfriend and she was talking about all of these really um, challenging things in her relationship with the man that she's dating. And she was like, I just don't know what God is trying to show me, what God is trying to teach me. And I have to be honest with you. You know how much I love God. You know my relationship with God. You know I work really hard at it, or most days. But y'all, sometimes the truth is, we look up, and we go like, why God? What are you trying to show me, God? What are you, what are you pulling me through this for, God? Blah, blah, blah. When really, we need to be looking down. Sometimes what's happening is the devil is trying to rob us of our peace, of our joy. The devil is trying to distract us from the things that are important in our life by, play, by, by enticing us with people that will not bring us peace. And the whole time we're looking for the lesson from God, but God's not in that. God's not in that. That comes from, the, the devil is powerful. I know we like to think that we are safe out here, that the Lord's got us, he's got his arms around us and he's with us and he's watching us and he's got his hands in everything and everything sent to us and every person who crosses our path was sent by God. But that is simply not the truth. It's simply not a fact. The devil is out here working hard to Oh my God, the devil, how old are we? <laughs> you think you're too old for the devil? That 
Now that is some funny ass shit. I thought Squirt was funny. But shit, folks, we got people who think they're too old for the devil. <laughs> okay. Don't come to my house. Because if you think you're too old for the devil and you're bringing his trickery around, I'm not in the mood. Let me tell you something. There are so many people covered in the, de in the, de in the devil. And they're so busy going... I know God's got this. God is putting this all in my face. God must want me to be in this abusive relationship. He must be, he wants me to learn something. No, he does not. That is not what he wants for you. That ain't got nothing to do with God. If you are in a situation and you're, and you're, you are conscious of your situation and you are waiting for it to change, you are praying for it to change. And you keep looking for the lesson, but you keep getting hurt over and over and over again. There is no lesson there for you. That is not God. That person was not sent to you by God. That person is doing the devil's work. And if you don't think the devil's work is out here, he works hard for the money. He is out here working. Listen, here's the thing. I understand how hokey God and the devil sound at 6.45 in the morning. I'm telling you, I, I, I rejected Lord God for so long, I'm surprised he even gave me a chance. Okay? I am just telling you, fine, you're not religious? Fine. No problemo. Let's take God and the devil out of it. You're in a situation and you keep looking for the signs, you're trying to figure out the lesson. And you're in it, and you're in it, and you're in it, and you're unhappy, and you're in it, and you're in it. Guess what? That lesson ain't meant for you. That lesson ain't meant for you. Pack your shit and get out. Okay? I'm just telling you. But for those of you who are believers, I'm telling you right now. Sometimes we look up and ask, why God? What's the lesson? And God's like, that ain't me. I didn't send that. I did not do that. You need to open your eyes. Okay? My, 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 uh, Shirley, what's her name? Uh, oh God, what's her name from Steel Magnolia? Open your eyes, baby. Open, open, open your eyes. I'm telling you, you keep looking up going, God, what's the lesson? God, what's the lesson? And God's going, yo, abort mission. I didn't send that. I did not send that. Um, okay. I have to go. They're boarding my flight. It's a story of my life. But I love you guys so much today, so much today. Have a great, great day.